Put your face balls on this, guys. This here is the uh, Tucson TS81. And uh, I thought I'd do a video of it here just to show off really just the amazing quality that you're getting out of Tucson these days. Um, I have several Tucson knives and they just continue to get better all the time. Uh, so what we're going to do here tonight, we'll uh, pull this thing apart and take a look at the fantastic machining inside and take a look at uh, just how good this knife is and honestly for the money I, I really don't think you can beat it which you know I love American manufacturers and uh, I just have to be honest here they really need to uh, really need to step up their game because a lot of these Chinese manufacturers have really got it going on especially for the money guys this thing is uh, pretty unbelievable so <clears throat> just some specs real quick here so this is not a small knife by any stretch of the imagination. We'll uh, do a few size comparisons here. So there's the uh, pair of three lightweight. And then uh, we also have the uh, Manix 2. <clears throat> so you can see this thing is pretty good size. Let me get these out of the way here. So what we're looking at size wise, we've got a blade of 3.8 inches long. Uh, from this point right here to the end to the tip uh, we've got a handle overall handle length of right at exactly five inches so you're looking at an overall length of 8.8 .8 inches in the hand this knife is extremely comfortable it's kind of hard to tell but there is a little bit of a little bit of a dip right here uh, there's no jimping uh, but it does give the, your thumb a really nice place to land uh, just a super comfortable knife in hand it is pretty narrow uh, at just over half inch thick uh, and these are bone inlays they're actual real bone so no two of these are alike um, but really really nicely done and as you can see the bone has like these scallops on it so there is some texturing on the bone uh, very similar to what's on the spine of the knife you can see here you got a full back spacer, fully milled titanium pocket clip. This is grade five titanium. And just look at all the beautiful machining lines. Uh, this knife is just really, really, really well done. The inlays fit perfectly. And uh, we'll talk about a few different things that just make this thing pretty amazing for the money. Now I think I paid I want to say I paid $59 for this knife. Uh, the blade is, as you can see there, in D2 steel. This is a Wong design. And uh, all the Wong design knives I really, really like. You can see there it's got a really nice uh, contoured plunge grind. <clears throat> really, really nice uh, grinds on this knife. It's a beautiful satin finish. Really nice sharpening choil. And uh, yeah, just a just a fantastic knife. The swedge across the the spine is really great. It is a flat spine, but uh, all the edges have been knocked down. Just a it's amazing what you're getting out of China for fifty or sixty bucks. Now they do sell these things on eBay, uh, so you do have to to bid on these. Um, and I have seen them go upwards of around a hundred bucks, which you know it's certainly worth a hundred dollars there's no question about that uh, compared to what what else is out there on the market even from Chinese makers you know for uh, a titanium frame lock flipper uh, this is riding on ceramic ball bearings does have a ceramic detent it's got an over travel stop uh, which is pretty amazing because most of the time when you have these inlays people don't do over travel stops but uh, yeah, that, they have done that here, so you don't end up uh, breaking that bone inlay, which is just a really, really nice touch. They also do uh, rubber O-rings under the pivot. The other thing I really like about this knife, you have all T8 hardware. So the pivot, all the body screws, and all the Tucson knives that I've seen have always been T8 for everything, which is just really, really nicely done. 
uh, zero lock stick, zero blade play. Just a really, really nice quality knife. So let's uh, let's get into the disassembly here. Like I said, these are all T8. And because there's the O-ring, and because they do the the uh, rubber O-rings, they never have any uh, Loctite on any of the hardware, so that's not something that you need to worry about with this brand, which is super nice. Loctite can uh, be a wonderful thing, but it can also be a real, real pain in the butt. So, for those of you that have never had to disassemble a knife, when they're Loctited together, it can be quite the uh, quite the nightmare. Get this apart here. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. So, <clears throat> what you can see here is on this blade, you got your. Uh, they're a nylon caged uh, ceramic bearings, and they do sit in a pocket in the blade. And uh, you can see here, over travel stop, ceramic detent ball. And then they also do something really better than anyone else on the market as far as any kind of budget brand anyway. Uh, for production knives, you know most companies are just using uh, just flat steel washers on titanium, uh, but Tucson they actually mill in a track for the ceramic balls to ride in. Just makes these knives ultra smooth. It also makes the uh, the frame a little narrower. It gives those balls a place to uh, ride down in that groove and. You know, just makes for a really, really nice assembly. So, you can see here just the fantastic milling and the screws. Nothing's coming through the handle there for the inlays with the pivot. You got your stop pin there. Just really, really nicely done. I'm just pretty well blown away with how good a quality these two sun knives are for the money. It's pretty amazing actually. So I will tell you that although the hardware is extremely nice, it is uh, all steel hardware. It's not titanium. Uh, but again, for the kind of money that you're paying for these guys, it's uh, pretty, pretty unbelievable what they're capable of doing. So as you can see here, these things uh, go together and come apart extremely easily. And that's kind of uh, the mark of uh, good quality machining. So I really like the fact that they do the, the rubber o-ring there on the pivot. It, uh, keeps everything tensioned perfectly without uh, needing uh, any Loctite there. As you can see, I just screwed it together. I haven't even messed with it. And blade is centered right up. Action. It's probably a little tight. Probably a little tight. I have zero blade play. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Pretty amazing. These things, uh, Tucson has really, really, really stepped their game up. It's pretty, pretty unbelievable, guys. So, if you're looking for a good quality, well-designed, well-machined, you know, this isn't a knockoff or anything like that. And honestly, I think it's an extremely good-looking knife. Um, the blade grind on this thing it's down to uh, anywhere from 17 to 19 thousandths behind the edge. It's uh, extremely slicey. And just, uh, oop. Just, just a really, really, really nice blade. 
I'm having a hell of a time doing this on, under the camera. But as you can see, just uh, really sharp right out of the box. Just a really, really great knife. So again, this one here is the uh, Tucson TS81. And check them out on eBay. If you're looking for some uh, really nice titanium frame lock flipper, they do other knives in G10 and they have other steels as well. They do M390, they do 12C27, they do a lot of D2. But, uh, you know, if you check out LTK's channel or a few other guys, they feature some Tucson knives. They've sent them in for testing. The steel is always what it says it is. The titanium checks out. The heat treats are always good. You know, just a really, really fantastic piece for the money. So, anyway, guys, thought you might like to check it out. Oh, I guess I didn't even bring up the fact that you have the... Uh, ceramic ball on the pocket clip you do have uh, really good tension on the pocket clip and it, it's kind of hard to tell there but the the ceramic ball does fit right between the scallops on the uh, bone and the bone is kind of a polished I mean it's machined and has those scallops but it's kind of polished so it is pretty slick this thing goes in and out of pocket extremely well it is narrow in this way here and it is canted nice, so it does hang nice in the pocket and, you know, keeps the uh, the old pocket pecker out of the way. So, yeah, guys, fantastic knife, especially for the money. So, anyway, have a good night. We'll talk to you later.